Carlos Alcaraz versus Yannick Sinner is the third quarterfinal for the Men's US Open for 2022. And both players have had to battle to get to the quarterfinal stage. Sinner started the tournament off as the number 11 seed and would take on Altmaier in the first round. And this was an absolute battle, having to get through in five sets, 5-7, 6-2, 6-1, 3-6, 6-1. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Eubanks. And after a tough second set, he eventually prevailed in three, 6-4, 7-6, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the young American Nakashima Shima, and after dropping the first set, it turned into a battle, eventually getting through in four, three, six, six, four, six, one, six, two. In the fourth round, he'd take on the unseated Avashka, which on paper was supposed to be the easiest match of the week. Unfortunately for Sinner, that was not the case, and he would have to play a four hour, five set match, taking it out in the fifth, six, one, five, seven, six, two, four, six, six, three, to advance to the quarterfinals. Carlos Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number three seed, and will play Baez in the first round. And after the first sets being very close. Baez eventually retired in the third, with Alcaraz getting through. 7-5, 7-5, two love retirement. In the second round, he'd take on another Argentinian, Correa, who couldn't put up a fight against Alcaraz, with the Spaniard getting through in three. 6-2, 6-1, 7-5. In the third round, he'd take on the American Brooksby, who'd been very impressive to this stage, beating Borna Choric along the way. But Alcaraz was too good, getting through in straight sets. 6-3, 6-3, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on former US Open champion of 15th seed Marin Cilic. And after winning two of the first three sets, Cilic made him work, pushing Alcaraz into the four hour mark and five sets, with Alcaraz eventually prevailing 6 4, 3 6, 6 4, 4 6, 6 3 to get to the quarterfinals. These two have played three times before on three different surfaces, with Sinner winning two of their three matches, including the last two matches over the last month or so one on grass at Wimbledon and one on the clay courts. So Alcaraz is going to have to get, so it's going to be a tough match for Alcaraz based on those records over the last couple of months. If Sinner's going to win, he just needs to execute the game plan that won him the match at Wimbledon. It's a faster court at the US Open this year, and if he can do it on grass, he can do it here as well. So he's going to have to be serving well and getting everything back, making Alcaraz play that extra ball. If Alcaraz is going to win, he's going to have to go back to the first match they ever played in Paris, which was an indoor hardcourt match. So he can take confidence from that and be aggressive. He was very good against Chilich, being aggressive, serving well, and has to keep that variety and keep Sinner moving. This is a very tough match to predict because both guys have played very, very, very well throughout the whole week and they had a five set match in their fourth rounds both of them at the same time pretty much but I'm gonna go with Elkris to win in five I think Sinner's gonna be tough to beat but I think Elkris on a hard court might get the edge let me know down in the comments below who's gonna win this quarterfinal